How's it going guys? Sharblox here. Welcome back to another Roblox video here on the channel. Today I wanted to talk about the new Roblox Terms of Service update, also known as the TOS for short. And I also wanted to cover the new types of Roblox bans that you guys have been getting on your Roblox accounts. Yeah, you guys have been sending me some new types of Roblox ban messages that I've never seen before. Maybe some of these messages are inspect elements, but as far as I'm aware, they do appear to be real. I'll show you guys those ban screenshots later in the video. So first of of all, let's cover the new Roblox TOS updates. I just wanted to jump onto this quickly because I know later loads of other people are going to be talking about this. Now, before I show you guys the new Roblox TOS updates, I just want to say the main reason that Roblox had to change them because yeah, they did change them a few months ago. And if you guys remember, everyone was causing drama about it, even though in reality, nothing really that drastic changed and everyone pretty much forgot about this. I ended up making this video called Don't Worry About the New TOS Rule updates. Basically, everyone was panicking about this. I know a lot of the YouTubers were making it seem a little bit worse than it actually was. I mean, fair enough, they were trying to get views and stuff. I do kind of understand. But yeah, since this video, Roblox has updated the terms of service yet again, and now it's a little bit different. The main reason they had to update it was because of stuff like this. I made a video not too long ago called the new Roblox NFTs are a complete disaster. And yeah, for some reason, people are deciding to make Roblox NFTs. I believe the first ever one was crypto blocks these guys made these weird kind of like lego looking nfts they said they were roblox themed i don't know how that's roblox but there you go again everyone went mental everyone said they're terrible everyone was saying why would you want to spend like five thousand dollars on a profile picture if you guys want to learn about nfts go ahead and watch this video honestly guys i just can't be bothered to explain it all over again i swear i've done it so many times at this point but yeah anyway this video was just about those crypto blocks nfts and apparently Apparently, you could buy them and then you could use them inside of their Roblox game. And I'm pretty sure their game got banned. I'm not too sure because I couldn't find it, but yeah, as far as I'm aware, I don't think this game exists anymore. Oh, we also had one of the creators of Roblox, so this guy called Shedletsky. I just want to say he doesn't work at Roblox anymore, but Shedletsky also decided to make his own Roblox style NFTs. And just like the Crypto Blocks ones, they were a complete disaster. So yeah, everyone was joking, everyone was right clicking and saying, saving the image and then being like oh I got the NFT for free yeah that's hilarious look how much this thing was $176 for a Roblox screenshot yeah no one's gonna buy that and then guys we had this disaster from Pet Simulator X basically the company behind it called Big Games they said introducing Pet Simulator X NFTs it's a cool technology so we wanted to try it out on Roblox to kick it off we just dropped huge Pegasus pets only 12 in the world owners of the NFTs can link to have their pets in the game it's awesome well it turned out it wasn't exactly very awesome and these pets are very very expensive and also kind of pointless i swear pet simulator only runs for like a year and then it closes down anyway or they end up making a new one or something i don't know honestly i don't play these games no hate to anyone that does i just couldn't play a simulator where i just click stuff on the screen definitely not for me but i can completely understand why kids enjoy playing this but yeah the pet simulator x nfts they are incredibly expensive. Shedletsky's NFTs were what, like $170 or something? Some of these ones are literally like $16,000. So this one bought by this guy, I don't know what his name is, but as you can see, it's a 3D pet. So yeah, it is a little bit better than the screenshot. This one is more of like a 3D kind of character. But again, would anyone want to pay $10,000 for this? I know some people are doing it, but why? Why would you spend your money on this? It's way too expensive. And the price of these NFTs isn't even the main reason as to why they're so bad. Take a look at this from Roblox RTC. People say that NFTs hurt the environment and violates Roblox terms of service. Yep, these NFT things are really bad for the environment. Creating one of these NFTs is like the equivalent to having your computer turned on for like 600 years. Yeah, I know it's ridiculous. Also keep in mind guys that this was against Roblox's terms of service. It's kind of a scam, I guess. Roblox said we don't permit deceptive schemes on our platform, including selling Roblox 
Roblox assets for real money off platform. Selling Roblox in-game assets off the official Roblox platform on something else for money. Yeah, that's basically Pet Simulator NFTs. And keep in mind guys, Pet Simulator also did this with their plush toys. So you see this stuff like the big cats. I swear these were really expensive as well. Weren't they like $70 or something? Oh, I don't know. But if you bought one of these, it came with a code which you could use inside of the game. And so that was the problem. Buying a plush, that didn't really matter. Like anyone can create a plush of their Roblox character or their Roblox in-game avatar, whatever. But the fact that these came with codes, yeah, that was the problem. I guess because Roblox wasn't getting a percentage of the money from the sales of the cat toys. So they were kind of selling like in-game codes off the website. Yeah, Roblox isn't going to like that. I'm sure you guys know the very popular Roblox game called Piggy. Well, yeah, the owner of this game called Minitoon. He also makes toys for his game just like Pet Simulator does. And I'm pretty sure Minitoon asked Roblox if he could add codes onto his toys that can be redeemed inside of the game to get like in-game items. And Roblox just said no. So yeah, Minitoon wasn't allowed to add codes to his toys. But but I'm guessing Pet Simulator didn't ask. They just went ahead and did it. And because their game is so popular, I guess Roblox didn't really say anything. Long story short, Pet Simulator X broke a lot of Roblox rules. So Bloxy News tweeted out this. Recently, a Roblox developer conducted an NFT auction off platform with content tied to intellectual property. Roblox is conducting a full review of their policies and ensuring that they are up to date with new developments in the market. And yeah, Roblox had to officially say this over on the developer forum. So yeah, it says the same thing that Bloxy News posted. We are aware of a recent auction that was tied to a Roblox creator's intellectual property and are conducting an internal review of what occurred on and off the platform. Once we have concluded our review, we will resolve it with the developer. As a global platform, we must consider the full impact of off-platform behavior and how it ties, whether directly or indirectly to the Roblox platform. Please bear with us while we conduct a full review of our policies and ensure that they are up to date with new developments in the market. That's basically for Pet Simulator X and all of those NFT games. So yeah, keep that in mind. If you do something bad off platform, so like something bad in real life, it can still affect you on Roblox. And that's the same with YouTube as well. It's kind of crazy how stuff has got like that. Anyway, finally Roblox did something and they actually updated the terms of service. This one is from Roblox RTC. Roblox has clarified their terms of service in response of the NFT situation with a certain developer. Basically, Basically Pet Simulator X. Only 18 hours ago, Roblox said this. Our terms of service and community standards exist for the safety and well-being of all users. When off-platform transactions occur that are tied to on-platform items or experiences, so that basically means selling something of Roblox's which is off the platform, it is impossible for us to monitor the details of that event and it blocks our ability to validate or mediate any claims. Moreover, it can also violate the terms of our App Store partners. Oh yeah, that's true. Like that whole Apple and Fortnite situation. In some scenarios, it can be okay to give away something off platform, such as over social media, for free as part of community building efforts. So that means like giving away limiteds or free models or something. To clarify this, we have updated the Roblox economy section of the community standards to be even more explicit about what is not allowed. This message serves as a notice of the policy clarification. We are reviewing existing violations and may provide developers an opportunity to bring some concerning transactions into compliance. So now let's see what Roblox changed about the terms of service. Creekcraft said this over on Twitter. Roblox updated their TOS to ban NFTs and I believe other items such as third-party toys with codes. Curious what's going to happen to Pet Simulator since they sold both NFTs and plushies with codes attached. Yeah, is Pet Simulator going to get banned? Honestly guys, I don't know. I mean, okay, I doubt it. It makes so much money. If Roblox banned it, it would be kind of mad. Right, so look at this, Roblox economy. Roblox maintains the Roblox system for everyone's benefit and enjoyment. To keep it secure, some uses of Roblox are not permitted, including using third-party services to sell, trade, or give away Robux. This does not apply to Roblox gift cards. I mean, yeah, that makes sense, they're official. Promotional codes that falsely appear to be offered by Roblox itself. So I guess that means like faking codes inside of a game or something. Something. I'm not too sure about that one. Inappropriate use of the group payout system. Yeah, we already knew that. Right, so I think this one is the main one. You also may not use third-party services or products to sell either directly or as a bundle inexperienced items, exclusive features, or other inexperienced enhancements.
advancements. So that includes toy codes, NFTs, other codes that you might sell on eBay or different websites. Obviously, Roblox wants to make as much money as possible. So when these developers sell their stuff on different websites, Roblox don't exactly get a cut of the money. So yeah, is Pet Simulator going to get banned? Because I know many people are asking this question. Well, my reply to that question is probably not. What I'm guessing is maybe the NFTs are going to stay there. Maybe they will be removed from the Roblox game. Honestly, guys, I'm not too sure. And that's a perfect example of why you shouldn't purchase Roblox NFTs. Yeah, you're kind of just throwing your money down the drain, if I'm being honest. But anyway, let me know your opinion about this down below in the comment section. All right, so I said at the start of this video that I would also talk about players getting banned for new unique reasons. Yep, many of you guys are getting strange bans on your Roblox account. So I thought we could finish off this video by taking a look at some. So the first one is from the Roblox YouTuber Stalker, also known as Lulu5239. And yeah, this guy got banned for stalking YouTubers. And yeah, I'm not even joking. So Lulu said on Twitter, I need help spying YouTubers. I search for some living in the USA. So what this guy tries to do is like get in YouTubers videos and stuff like that. Well, it turns out apparently that is now against the Roblox terms of service. And honestly, I didn't know it was, but it turns out it falls under harassment, I guess. Anyway, he made this group, YouTubers stalking group. He always tries to join people like me, Vexo, Flamingo, Laughability, maybe a few others as well. So yeah, Lulu said this, and I got banned for a more original reason. Roblox deleted my YouTubers stalking group. That makes some sense, but I wasn't really using that group. Oh my gosh, you can't make this up. Banned for three days. Do not harass other users. Do not say inappropriate or mean things about others on Roblox. So yeah, it turns out if you're constantly stalking your favorite YouTubers, like joining their games, trying to get in videos, making groups, you know, all of that kind of stuff. Kind of creepy behavior, I guess. Well, you will actually get banned for three days. Previously, this wasn't a thing. I don't know when Roblox decided to bring in something like this. But yeah, now if you stalk Roblox players and always join them, keep in mind you could potentially get banned if they reported you. Oh yeah, his group got locked too. So yeah, it's basically been deleted. One here from Dita Plays. This is a new ban message that I've never seen before. So Dita said, my son played around in studio and used some free models. Then this happens. Like this nine-year-old is trying to scam people. How can free models that get people banned even exist on Roblox? It just makes no sense. Yeah, so I feel kind of bad for Dita Plays' son. It says account deleted. So it wasn't even like a 14-day ban. His account just straight up got deleted. This account has been closed due to a violation of our terms of service. Do not create games intended to scam other players. So I'm guessing his son is is fairly young. He was probably building random stuff inside of Roblox Studio. You know, opening up the toolbox, dragging in random models, all of that kind of stuff. You know, as kids do. That's what I used to do when I was younger as well. I used to get like the weirdest like virus ridden 3D models. Yeah, it was a mess, but it was fun to play around with, right? And yeah, his account got deleted for that. That is very extreme. I've never seen this type of ban message before. So these models must have been pretty dodgy and pretty sketchy, I guess. But anyway, his account was restored and I'm hoping the models like this can get deleted. Yeah, normally if you add free models into your Roblox game and you're not really sure what you're adding, normally you get banned for seven days. Just like this guy, Aaron, I do feel bad for him to be fair. I got banned for a sad reason. A free model had a virus. You can use this for a video if you want. I'm sad because I got a seven day ban for it. You can have a look and see if it's dumb or fair. And yeah, I agree with you. This one is very dumb. But to be fair, this one is nothing new. I just wanted to compare this one to D to plays his um, son's ban message. As you can see, this one is the ultimate trolling GUI. So yep, you will get banned for that. And your game also gets deleted. So adding free models into your Roblox games is a little bit dodgy at the moment. Yeah, definitely be careful. Maybe try it on an alt account first rather than your main account. Yeah, that might be a good idea. But then again, this shouldn't even happen on Roblox in the first place. They need to get this sorted out. I did say at the start of this video that some of these messages might be inspect elements from this guy which speaks Portuguese, I think. Anyway, he said, what's going on? Can someone explain this to me? Banned for seven days for saying e-dance. Yeah, I think this one might be inspect elements, but if it's not, then that is actually insane. Got another one. This one is kind of interesting. This person got banned for seven days as well for harassment. You know, if it's a sin, that does not really mean they go to hell. What? How did they get banned for seven days for saying this? I don't know. That seems a little bit too extreme for me. Is it because they're kind of talking about religion? Oh, I don't know. That one's kind of strange. I also 
thought this one was kind of mad. So this one is account deleted and they posted two emojis. Now at first I thought, why would you get an account deleted for posting this? But so then I realized the rainbow could mean pride or something. And so they're saying like cancel it with like the cross or something like that. Yeah, I can kind of understand why Roblox did this. But then again, I would have expected you to get like a seven day ban. Account deleted for posting two emojis. That's kind of crazy if you think about it. Oh God, this last one is just painful to take a look at. So this one is clearly from a parent and so their kid was trying to say get in for win. Maybe they were talking about like getting in a vehicle or something but what they ended up saying is gi in for win. G-E-Y. And yeah Roblox banned them for seven days. What? You can't ban someone for seven days for saying that. Typo or not it doesn't matter. Gi in for win. It just doesn't make any sense. Even if it said gay in for win like could you ban someone for saying that? I don't know guys. This one is bonkers. I'm really shocked they got banned for a week for saying that. And there we have it guys. So that is pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to explain all of the new Roblox bans, the new Roblox terms of service as well. And yeah, I just wanted to update you guys on everything. So if you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.